I cherish. Welcome to my RV. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West RV here in Frederick, and this is my Verona. Thanks for coming today. I hope you'll enjoy our video. We're gonna start from the back of the coach. So you might not be here with us, but I'll let you know it's nice and cool. And this is as loud as our generator gets. You can hear the air conditioning's going. We're not plugged in. Uh, so this is great. This is a really nice sign. You can go camping uh, out with the family and have a really comfortable environment. Uh, we'll start here in the coach bedroom. You'll notice there are uh, nice pillows, things that we use on our evenings, but there is none of the original RV uh, furniture. We've actually taken out all the bedspreads and left them at home. These are a little more useful for us. Uh, one of the things that we've done is we've noticed that it gets warm, so having a nice cotton cover and then something to cover up with if it gets a little bit cooler at night is great. Um, we can always have extra bedding. I keep all of our extra bedding in here. You'll note there's a few pillows and some extra blankets. The reason that is is there's a full queen size fold out bed uh, from the couch in the front. Uh, that's where my daughter and her best friend typically like to sleep. So we keep all our bedding back here. Uh, when the coach is closed up. You had mentioned that you bought the thinner blankets because you may not want to run your AC at night. Yeah, so there's a lot of times where you'll go to a campground and they'll actually say, you know, you can only run your generator at certain points of the evening. And if you're not plugged into shore power and you don't want to run your generator, it's a really good idea to have something that's a little bit cooler so that you don't get hot. So you can just leave the windows open and not need your AC. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is that I am using RV sheets. Um, I don't have RV blankets, but I would encourage you to get RV sheets. They fit the bed a little bit better. I also have a, a mattress cover that's an RV mattress cover. Uh, the king size bed's a little bit shorter than the most of them. Um, so they fit really nicely and for stowing purposes you'll find that they just kind of tuck away really well and it's a great idea to get something that actually fits your bedding better also it keeps your sheets from coming untucked at night which is kind of a pet peeve of mine i usually get them on amazon um, my last set actually came directly from egypt so yeah very fancy uh, they were egyptian cotton so here we have uh, a little fan great idea during the day and then also felt lined hangers. I get these by the bucket full at Costco. Super handy, they don't rattle or clank when you're going down the road. Um, you'll notice that we have two full wardrobes here. This is the 36 VSB. One of the things I like about this coach is it's got two full storage bays. And then I have uh, four people in my family. We each get a drawer. And then of course, the adults get their own big drawer as well. But that's because it's our coach. The kids get their smaller doors, but enough room for socks, bathing suits. And one of the best things, and Cherish will turn around and show this to you now, is we have a washer and dryer on this coach. The washer and dryer is right here in the middle. But by having a washer and dryer on your coach, you can actually bring a lot less laundry with you um, because you can wash and dry your shorts and your jeans. You only need a few things instead of needing stuff for an entire two or three week trip really, really cuts down on the things that you need to bring on the trip with you. Then there's also so all sorts of other things that are really handy to have. Cherish is gonna show you into our bathroom right now and you'll notice that there's some containers in the shower. Um, the containers are not necessarily something that we would normally leave there, but I wanted to show you. We keep everything in a container so that we always have our shampoo and our conditioner, body wash, things like that with us. Um, but if we stow it in the coach and it gets hot and it might, uh, might explode or spill somewhere, it's gonna stay inside of that container. So really, really nice to have. Uh, plenty of room up top for your uh, toilet paper. Of course, you'll use special RV toilet paper. Uh, there's ventilation fans in both sections of the bathroom, which is really nice. Um, here in the drawer, you'll notice we have a lot of these um, vegetable liners on everything so we don't have rattling. And then this is where I would keep all of the conditioner and uh, different things, but back here you'll notice that's where I have my laundry soap, just a smaller bottle is enough. Um, and then of course we have toothbrushes off, all of our sunscreen, those are normally stowed there underneath as well. And then up here, some handy things that I hadn't thought of at first. First of all, a hair dryer is really handy. Um, a mirror with a light that's magnifying is really handy. Uh, we love the Myers soap, uh, the hand soap. I've got two here, one's for next to the sink, the other one's actually for outside. 
first aid kit, and then extra little things like a sewing kit, a small thing of tissue in case you're gonna go hiking, just little things that you might find that you need when you're out and about. Um, really cool to have little small things just in case so that you don't have to stop your trip and go to the you know, Wal Walgreens or Walmart. Um, now we're gonna move into our refrigerator. Uh, not a lot to talk about here, except for I do like having a Brita. It's nice to have chilled water. And I like having containers that actually abut with each other so that I don't have things sliding around and spilling in the refrigerator. Uh, these are at Costco as well. Really nice. Um, they have drainage in them. We carry cherries, lettuce, all those types of things. And then we still have plenty of room for stowaway down here. But these things are really handy just so you don't have things sliding around. And you did say this does have a full house water filtration system. system but you like to have the cold water. Cold water. Yeah, I just it. like it because you just never know what kind of the temperatures are going to be. So it's great to have that. Plus, you can take it outside and put it on the you know, picnic table while you're having your meal. So it's just nice to have in there. Um, this is another uh, trademark that I really like by the Renegade product. Um, these are really durable and they are red when they're not locked. Red or when they are locked. Yeah. yeah. So you know if you haven't locked it that you need to. Um, most importantly, we have an ice maker here. Super, super clutch. We still bring a few bags of ice with us, but it's really nice to have an ice maker on board. Um, here we're going to get into the fact that there's a ton of extra storage. So you'll notice up here I have um, a few trays to be able to serve food, and then I have this little camping backpack. So we pack in somewhere. I've got some uh, dishes that we can use when we go camping. They are also really handy because they've got lids on them. I can use them for storage for things like coleslaw or whatever we just don't finish. Um, in this section, you'll notice we have shopping bags and laundry bags. Uh, paper towels, I typically would have out on the counter. Um, this is a really nice old-fashioned percolator. I love percolators, um, but we do use our French press most often. Um, so this is our favorite. And then we also have a standard little coffee pot that just does typical brew. So we have a full shelf dedicated to coffee because we have our priorities straight. <laughs> yes. Um, one of the things to mention about coffee, especially if you're going to use a French press, is you have this induction stove top. And you'll notice um, that I only have one cover here. The other cover I've replaced with a cutting board and a cheese tray. Uh, we use this a lot. Um, but this is super fast. So if you're wake making coffee in the morning and you don't do well until you have it, you can get your coffee really quick. Um, and that's why we like the French press. It makes just enough for two or three people. It's always hot, it's very strong. So um, the induction cooktop is great. We don't even carry these covers with us because we don't need them. Um, by having the cutting board here, I have plenty of extra counter space. And I also don't have to worry about things sliding off when the coach is closed up. So if you wanna put something down, you can, and there's like a little lip so that it won't go sliding off, which is kind of nice. Um, a lot of our things are lined with this material. Uh, it cuts really easily. Of course, it's all lined up so you can actually see the lines and really get a good fit for your cabinets. That way you don't have things that rattle. Uh, typically, this is where I would have my pots and pans. I have them inside at home right now because they're nice. Um, I use all clad copper core. Uh, they're really amazing. And then you'll notice all of our plates of course, they're very uh, gourmet. These are marble plates made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. And all of them have a little piece of vegetable liner between them, and it keeps them from rattling when we're going down the road. Um, I like to have a homey feeling. So when I get to my campsite, the very first thing that I do is decorate. I put my bananas out in my little holder. I put my candle out. This is my catch-all box that I keep next to the front door. Uh, because if you've got keys or glasses, for instance, that you don't want to misplace, it's really good to have something by the front door. Um, and then around the corner over here, you'll notice that we have particularly tiny placemats. These are one placemat cut in half, but they're ideal and they give you just that great look. We also have some painted rocks. We do a lot of rock painting when we go camping. We do a different one at all the campsites and we always save one. These are great for putting outside so that your things don't fly away in the wind while you're preparing your meals. Uh, up top here, 
we have where we stow our placemats, just some plastic bags. You'll notice that I have everything uh, labeled with a label maker. And in a container. And in a container. Um, one of the things I really like is this cute little book that I got from Trans West. If I have anything that I need to write down, I have a little notepad here. This little book is a log book, which just tells you where we've been and like what we've done, how long it took to get there. Just really handy. Um, and then, of course, you need a spiral bound notepad so you can play games, keep track of all that stuff. And who doesn't need a hacky sack? So just nice to stay organized. Um, some other things that we have up here, we'll keep, for instance, um, kitchen supplies for outside, dish towels. We carry a lot of batteries with us. Um, and then I have all of my cords are labeled. And the reason I label all of my cords is because you never know which item they go to. So it's a really good idea to get your label maker out as soon as you get something. Label that cord so that when you go to use it, you can plug it in. Same with your remotes, right? 100%. I'll show you those next because that's a big chore. There's a lot of remotes for these coaches. We have one, two, three televisions, two sound bars. Um, highly recommend chess checkers, cribbage, lots of games for the kids. If it's raining, it's really fun to have a game or an activity to do. Uh, you shouldn't ever leave the house without five million zip ties. So I'm well prepared. I've got five million zip ties. And then the all important sewer elbow. Uh, we're not going to show you the outside of the coach today, but I wanted to make sure I brought this up. Uh, a lot of the parks are closed right now unless you get there really early in the morning or have a reservation. So if your dump stations are only in parks and you have a place that you're staying that has a sewer only, make sure you have this adapter. Uh, you should always have one of these. This is actually going to help you um, if you stay at a place that has a sewer system that you have to plug into. If you don't have one, it won't work. And recently when we've gone camping, they've been out. So just a really good item to make sure you have. Um, we've got a few books on places to go in case you run out of ideas. And then most importantly, your instruction manual. Have your instruction manual with you. Yeah, if you ever have questions, everything's probably in there. You wouldn't believe how complete these things are. So uh, we talked earlier about the queen size bed. This is a queen size bed. Um, lots of room. This is also a full bed. So I've got enough room to sleep two kids, three kids out here really comfortably. Um, when you have kids, you also have a mess. So we keep a Dyson, some bleach wipes. Uh, when we arrive, we actually put our little soap dispenser out. Uh, this is a really handy sink. So I can actually take my dish tray out, put it aside, put my sink in the refrigerator and I've got something I can, or in the sink and I can wash my dishes. So what is that exactly? It's an expandable dish tray, so you can actually pop this out and it becomes a bucket. So you can use your soapy water in here and then you still have a place where you can rinse everything out over here to the left. So really, really nice to have a separate sink. Um, I really like the full large sink in case I need it, but I also like being able to rinse everything off in a smaller bucket. So keep them separate. Um, fly swatter, you don't need a big one, <laughs> but you need one. So we have a little fly swatter. There's a label, of course. Um, just some extra sponges, soap, gum. Everyone needs gum, cleaning supplies. Uh, one of the things I liked about the Renegade is it has a really, really large trash can. You'll notice that we have a few here. So we have a trash can for inside, we have a trash can for outside, and we have a recycling trash can. But we got them all the same size, so they stack for travel, which is really handy. Um, I haven't hung this up yet. But a whiteboard is really, cr is really crucial. You can write all the things that you forgot that you didn't have, things that you did, any notes you need to take. Keep on your whiteboard. When you leave the coach, write them down, put it away, erase it, start over the next trip. That way, if you've got anything, let's say you're out of batteries, write down that you need to get batteries. That way you don't forget for your next trip. So going on to the cabinets, we have here, not only do we have vegetable lighters underneath the silverware, but we also have it underneath the silverware again. It keeps it from rattling. Nice and quiet. Ziploc bags, really important to have something to grab hot stuff 
uh, both inside and outside. So make sure you've got your heating gloves because you do have a full oven. So if you don't have mitts, it's kind of a problem. Um, also, there's no reason to want for anything all the way down to cup measures, a meat thermometer, uh, tongs, cheese grater, juice squeezer. Um, here's where all you have all of your fuses. And then here's your Renegade contact information. So if you had any questions or if you had an emergency, you'd have an 800 number that you could call. It's all right there for you. So this is one of my favorite things. I love the pull-out drawers. Um, like I said, we keep everything labeled nice and simple so you can find stuff. Um, things like snacks, cereal right easy to get to these are all from Costco once again this little guy is at Jack's super clutch really good balsamic vinegar olive oil some salt and pepper holds the placemat down in the windstorm too um, but once again everything is lined with those vegetable liners underneath and then of course we all need our good salt and pepper napkins so pretty handy. You can really have everything that you need in this coach. And it's like having a full-fledged apartment on wheels. Uh, so a few little things up here. Like I mentioned, I like containers and I like labels. So I highly recommend labeling all of your controllers. And then once again, liners under everything keeps everything nice and quiet. My gum, his gum. Uh, this is really clutch if you have these uh, mylar reflective sunshades. You can put them in before you close your sunscreens and it'll actually keep the heat out of the coach. It'll keep it cooler. Uh, we're going to go outside now and show you some things that you need outside. So welcome to the outside of the coach. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice is a really nice bristly mat near your steps to keep the rocks off. And then these little black trays here are great for shoes. One of the reasons they're so nice is you can put your shoes on them and if it starts to rain, you can just slide them under the coach. Uh, there are four here, so depending on how many guests I have, I'll unpack more, but they're all stacked together, so really, really compact. Um, the other thing that we found really nice are these plastic woven rugs they clean up really easy you can use a hose that one's really big it matches the coach it's almost as large as the outside uh, also on amazon less than i think it was 69 dollars for the big one uh, these were really inexpensive the collapsible wood container the kids are great we just sent them up to the main campground to go get firewood they can carry it back if it gets wet we always have a black tub that's empty that has just the lighting um, like matches and such uh, so that you can cover it in the rain. Also, everyone has to have a machete. Really important, get a machete. Um, great for the kids love cutting their own wood, slicing up things so they can get the fire started. Um, and also some tables. You never know the condition of the picnic table at your coach uh, when you get there, yeah, your campsite. So if it's yucky, it's really nice to have something to eat off of that isn't yucky. Um, this is my favorite new toy. I just got this. There's a fire ban in half of the places we've been to. This is uh, typically acceptable even during a fire ban. It's a fire pit, but even if you don't have a fire ban, if you're only gonna be out by the fire for 45 minutes or an hour and you don't wanna have to get it wet and, and drown it, this is immediate, it runs off of propane, super clutch. Uh, this little Coleman here is actually a wok. It's one of our favorite things. We have a lot of vegetables that we grow so we can make stir fry and we can still use our grill. We do keep our Weber in a container because it's stinky and I don't want my coach to be stinky so it's in there. We also like to keep like our chairs, our hammocks, um, all of those things, our cooking supplies, so our cast iron pots, everything is labeled. Um, fishing supplies all go in there. Here you'll see that we still have a tent just because you have an RV does not mean you have to sleep with your children. You can still put them outside. We have a tent and there's a really nice air mattress and it's comfortable. And all those blankets that you saw inside also have a sleeping bag tucked in there. So you're more than welcome to exile your children and have a little calm, quiet space for yourself. Um, some buckets, really important. I don't know what you'll use them for, but you'll use them for something. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. When we get around to the back, there's always more things that you can do in terms of bike racks and storage gear. Um, but for right now, this is a lot of our living space. The rest of it's more operation. So I hope that you've enjoyed our video today. Uh, thanks very much. When did you just your phone number? Oh yeah, certainly. My name is Katie O'Neill. I work here at Trans West of Frederick. And if we have a few seconds, I'll run inside and get my clipboard. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm a new RV person, so I have done so much research and I've found so many neat little niche things. And if you've got questions, I'd love to help. So again, my name is Katie O'Neill here at TransWest Frederick. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope you learned something and I hope you have fun camping.